This is WENY News. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. As Halloween creeps up on us, we have some tips to make this Halloween a safe one. Police urge parents to check the state sex offender registry as you map out your kids' trick-or-treating route and only go to familiar houses or ones with the light on. Always walk on the sidewalk and parents should accompany younger children or have your children carry a cell phone. And try to have your children save their candy until they get home so you can inspect it before they eat it. And even though Halloween isn't until Saturday, some communities are giving kids a jump start on trick-or-treating. Parts of the northern tier will be out and about tonight. That includes Tawanda, Sayer, and Athens Township, who will be trick-or-treating between 6 and 8 p.m. Athens Borough and Waverly will be between 6.30 and 8. And tomorrow night, downtown Ithaca will host trick-or-treaters from 4 to 6 p.m., while the Arnett Mall will be between 6 and 8 p.m. For a full list of trick-or-treaters, Trick or treating times for different communities over the next few days, head to our website. It looks like Governor Cuomo is ready to follow through on his promise to fix what's wrong with New York's Common Core learning standards. Cuomo's task force has scheduled 10 public meetings around the state to focus on the problems. A panel of five speakers with different viewpoints will talk about the Common Core task force before answering questions from the public. Meetings will be held in every region of New York State, including the Southern Tier. More details will be released next week. And regular deer hunting season is right around the corner. And if you don't have your permit yet, there are a few extras that will be available in our area again starting Sunday. New York State environmental officials are making some deer management permits available to hunt antlerless deer as a way to control the population. Permits are being offered from more than a dozen wildlife management units all around the state. If you're interested, you should apply first thing on Sunday, November 1st, because they're issued on a first-come, first-served basis. Now here's Craig Flint with today's forecast. Hey, Craig. Hey, Leanne. Good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. Temperature's kind of tricky today because I have 62 indicated for the high, but technically our high was back at midnight when it was 63. So to be technical, today will be 63 degrees. Actually, already was. Now, during the day, we're probably going to be no better than 55 or 60. Hey, it was windy yesterday, as expected. Frequent gusts over the higher elevations, 40 to 50. Now, today, it's going to get windy again. But I don't think the gusts will be as strong or as frequent as we head through the course of the day. 15 to 30 mile per hour sustained wind speeds, though with a few higher gusts. There'll be some intervals of sun out today too, and the opportunity for a shower moving through. I think the highest likelihood for a shower or two would be through the first part of uh, the day, through the morning. Overnight tonight, we have a renewed risk for a shower or two to come through as the next little weather disturbance kind of works its way through in a low of 38. So here's a look at first warning satellite and Doppler radar. The steadiest of the rain, now shifting its way to the east, and we have this little line of showers right here. See that? That's going to come through as we head through the course of the morning. So that's why I think the highest likelihood for a shower or two would be through the morning. Then we look behind it, and we actually have a little bit more uh, in the way of some sunshine occurring out in this area here. So I think as we head into the afternoon, we should get some intervals of sun out. But again, southwesterly winds today will be between 15 and 30 with a few higher gusts. So here's future track, a couple scattered showers moving through, uh, especially through the first half of the day. Maybe one more comes through during midday and then that kind of uh, fizzles and there should be some sun out as mentioned today. Now, again, temperatures kind of oxymoronic because we've already hit our high temperature of 63 back at midnight during the day. Today, it's probably 55 to 60 with a breeze. There's your little weather disturbance coming through the region tonight with a shower or two and maybe a sprinkle into Friday morning, but Friday should be a day that's cooler. Only upper 40s and low 50s. Little bit of a breeze, but again, not as windy, but still a little breezy. And sky should be partly sunny. Now, there may be like a sprinkle or something to start Friday morning, but skies will become partly sunny. And as we look ahead into Halloween, I think a pretty good looking day on Saturday. There should be a good deal of sun out. But a cold start, though, near 30, 54, sun will increase the clouds somewhat late in the day. 
And don't forget to fall back by an hour, turn the clocks back by one hour, Saturday night and Sunday morning. Sunday is November 1st, maybe a couple of scattered showers at that point in time, 61. And then look into next week. Talk about above normal temperatures, solid 60s, and some sun. There you go. It's going to be nice, Leanne. Looks like a good start to November. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Craig. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5 30, 6, and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Have a great day.